Scientists discover the first known animal that doesn't breathe. This is the first animal on Earth proven to have no mitochondrial genome and no way to breathe whatsoever. Now, when the parasitic blob known as Henagoya salmonicola sinks its spores into the flesh of a tasty fish, it doesn't hold its breath. That's because H. salmonicola is the only known animal on Earth that doesn't breathe, and it looks like an alien. Look at it. If you spent your entire life infecting the dense muscle tissue of fish and underwater worms like H. salmonicola does, you probably wouldn't have much opportunity to turn oxygen into energy either. However, all other multicellular animals on Earth whose DNA scientists have had a chance to sequence have some respiratory genes, even a piece. But according to a new study published today, February 24th, in the Journal of Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, H. Salmonicola's genome does not have that sequence. In fact, it doesn't have any mitochondrial DNA or RNA. The Sonardian parasite of salmon, Myxozoa henaguya, Salmonicola lacks mitochondrial genomes. It's mind-blowing, and it looks like an alien. A microscopic and genomic analysis of the creature revealed that, unlike other known animals, H. Salmonicola has no mitochondrial genome. None! Which, which adds many questions to genetics. Like, how does it genetically reproduce, first of all? The small but crucial portion of DNA stored in the animal's mitochondria that includes genes responsible for respiration are missing. Now, while that absence is a biological first, it's weirdly in character for this quirky parasite, which looks like an alien. Like many parasites from the Mycozoa class, a group of simple microscopic swimmers distantly related to jellyfish H. salmonicola may have once looked a lot more like its jelly ancestors, but has gradually evolved in reverse to have none of its multicellular traits and look like an alien. They have lost their tissue, their nerve cells, their muscles, absolutely everything. And now we find they've lost their ability to fucking breathe. That genomic downsizing poses an advantage for parasites like H. salmonicola, which thrive by reproducing as quickly and as often as possible. And if you don't need to breathe, well, you can re reproduce a lot. Other parasites in the family have infected and wiped out entire fish stocks, Hutchins said, making them a threat to both fish and commercial fisheries. And now this species of genus Henagoya Salmonicola. Well, that could take out that could take out fish in extremely anoxic environments. When seen popping out of the flesh of a fish in white, oozing bubbles, H. Salmonicola looks like a series of unicellular blobs. Absolutely disgusting. Fish infected with Salmonicola are said to have the tapioca disease. Only the parasite spores show any complexity. And when seen under a microscope, these spores look like a bluish sperm cell with two tails and a pair of oval alien eyes. Those eyes are actually stinging cells, Hutchins said, which contains no venom but help the parasite latch onto the host when needed. These stinging cells are some of the only features that H. salmonicola has not ditched. It has almost nothing in it except stinging cells, a head, and a tail. Whew. Animals are always thought to be multicellular organisms, lots of genes that evolve to be more complex as time goes on and we get smarter and we go from hunter-gatherer to where we are today, blah, blah, blah. But here we see an organism that c goes completely opposite to evolution. It's going in reverse. It's reversing evolution from more complex to simple. So simple that it, now it doesn't even need to breathe. 
Can you imagine the sick people at the top that are trying to take these genetics and put them into your body? So you, maybe you can have a, bo- a baby that doesn't need to breathe. That's why I'm bringing this up. So how does H. salmonicola acquire energy if it doesn't breathe, you may ask? Well, the researchers aren't totally sure, according to the paper. And according to Hutchin, other similar parasites have proteins that cannot import ATP, basically molecular energy, directly from their infected hosts. So H. salmonicola could be doing the same thing by actually sucking energy out of other animals. It could even be using electric energy. Anyway, this is some of the most amazing stuff. And as the quickening occurs, the information is disseminated. The first known animal that does not breathe is alive and well. And we've just discovered it. And it looks like a freaking alien. This video is dedicated to Alien Allen, who tirelessly works at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project for your benefit. Thank you, Alan. We love you. And we love these little salmonicolas. Be safe. Share this video with like-minded people. And that's a boom to knowledge and biology. February 24th, 2020. Be safe.